Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Gabe and this is Gabe Loves Makeup and I'm a digital makeup artist and I have been in the industry for over 25, 30 plus years and I'm still in retail where I help customers just like you with skincare, makeup, and fragrance every single day. And with that said, guys, I am here ready to go over a pass or yes, we have some new things that are coming out um, and feeling this look. I mean, just film, finished filming with the new Chanel quads. They are so beautiful. And this lip, I mean, honey, let me tell you, we are feeling it. So we are feeling ourselves today. So if you are feeling yourself today, if you are loving yourself today, and you want to hang out with me for just a little while today, and you want to play and just see what new is coming out in makeup and see what we think of it, whether we're going to pass it or whether we're going to yes it, then stick around and let's do a pack of yes together. So I think I'm going to go over this way. Let's go this way to, uh, this week. So it's like, you know, as long as I get a good angle on the side of my face here, good work. I'm feeling myself today with this lip. I'm telling you, this is the Lisa Eldridge um, Carnival Lip Gloss. And I put, and I filled my lips in with this ColourPop Lip Liner. And this one is in the shade. I don't know if they still make this shade or not, but it's called I Heart This. Um, so I have to look it up and see if it is. It'll be linked down below in the box. But I filled my lip in with this completely and then put the gloss over it because the gloss is sheer. But man, let me tell you, and then we're filling it with our hair a little bit, you know, just being a little bit more, I don't know, just a little something, something. But anyway, anyway, I don't know. <laughs> let's get on into what we're, what we came here, what you came here to see. So uh, this is the new Patrick Ta blush, spring blush set. And then he also came out with a set of lip glosses to go with it as well. Um, is the, you know, there's, th there's three new shades in it. There is is a, um, she's the, she's the, um, she's the wow, or she's the, she's the um, something, I can't remember, she's the moment, sorry, not too much, and then the other one is to, uh, just something, I can't read it, because I've got, I've got it kind of cut off, so I can't read that, but one is a pink, one is a neutral, one is a peach, I was about ready to pick up one of these, because they're really pretty, they're a little bit more lighter than some of his other ones, his other pink one is more brighter, this is more of a light neutral, uh, pink, uh, blue undertone, pink undertone, I can't even talk today, I've been like going through it, let me tell you, I've been to work, and I'm like, I'm tired, it's like really late at night, so I'm like, so I'm trying to film this, um, but the, um, but the peach shade is a lot lighter than some of the other ones are more punchy, um, do I have that, I have it right here, actually, because I actually have this blush on here, so I have this blush on here, um, but this, see how this is a little bit more, it's got more punchy, it's more fruit punchy, um, and this one is a little bit, they're a little similar, but they're just a little lighter, so anyway, this is part of his spring collection, and he also came out with glosses as well, um, and they sell for $38 a piece, they are on Sephora, and they are on his website as well, um, but you know, I decided not to get it. I was going to, and I decided not to get it. I don't need another $38 blush. I just don't. So this is a pass for me. I just really just don't need another $38 blush. As beautiful as they are, I just don't, because I've got so many. I've got this one. I've got like three or four of his, and I don't use them that often. So I just don't feel like I need another $38. Let me just save your, I'm going to save myself another $38. But if you do pick up one of these, you know, please let us know down below what you guys think about it. And, um, and yeah. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, so up next is one that I already have picked up already. So I did pick this up. So this is the Natasha Denona. Um, it is the Hyper Natural Face Palette. Um, it's a one-of-a-kind hybrid, no makeup, eyeshadow, blush, bronzer, contour, um, essential. It has a new formulation, so silk powder gel formula, eyeshadow with phytosqualene, Vita, Bia Keat, Berry Flux, Vitamar. Um, really weird name. I can't pronounce them all, guys, but it's really crazy. And there's one new sparkling wet effect shadow finish. Um, they are, it does look like they're going more natural. It, it's talc free, mineral free, paraben free, cruelty free, which she's always been. But then there is, um, but then it also has the squalene and some of the berry extracts and some of that in it. And then, um, I think the palette uh, is $62. If you want to go over, I do have an Natasha Denona affiliate link down below if you're interested. You can use the gay, uh, code like Gabe. I think it's Gabe loves for her. I think it's, and it's, you say 15% off. So you can go down there if you were interested in this palette. I did pick this up. Um, I'm very interested in it because I can do lip liner with this. I can do 
eyeshadow with this. I can do brows. I can do eyeliner. I want to do something with this palette to show you guys a different way of doing it. You can do everything in this one palette without having to go to any other palette. Um, so yeah, I want to be able to show you that. So that's the reason why I picked this up. So anyway, and I saved 20 bucks on mine. So actually I saved $20 on mine because I had a $20 reward with her. Because if you join her club, you can, um, you once you, if you buy a couple times, you start to save, you start to um, accumulate dollars and the dollars um, accumulate into, um, you know, you can use that off like $10, $20, $30, depending on what it is. You can save up for it or you can save it. But um, I hadn't went and used my 20 and I only got it for 40. So, so it was really good. So if you're not a, a part of the Natasha Donna members of rewards, I would definitely sign up. There shipment comes immediately straight away to you to your doorstep. It is so good. It is a great service to have. She packs it immaculately. She wraps it really, really well. So um, definitely, if you've never bought from the Natasha Donna website, I would definitely recommend it Um, because it does come really quickly. But yeah, definitely I'm going to pick this one up. So this one definitely is a yes. So we're definitely going to pick up something finally because usually on these, I don't usually pick up a lot, but I'm definitely picking up this one. Um, So anyway, moving on to the next one. Next, um, we have, this is the... um. The Dolce Gabbana New Bold Look Collection. Um, so it's a 12 pan multi finish eye and cheek palette. It has a, they have also 24 lasting waterproof eyeliners in six colors. Um, and it's supposed to have the elegant, it comes in an elegant black and gold logo box with a removable chain and a mirror and a two sided applicator. Um, the eyeliners come in, let's see, it comes in a white, a blue, a pink, a green, a turquoise, and a purple. Um, you know, I gotta say, it's just cute. I mean, it's just kind of cute. I mean, it's definitely bolder. It's got a lot more color than most of the time with Dolce Gabbana because they just had a palette they came out with that had like a, a blush and a couple of other things in with it. It was not it was not that interesting. But this one's cute. I really think the liners are cute. Um, I wouldn't pick this up though because um, the packaging, even though it's got the little the little chain and everything like a purse, I think it's a little cheap looking. Um, and, but the shadows, I don't know. I've never tried Dolce Gabbana shadows, so I don't know how the quality of them is. But, um, but it looks really cute. I mean, it looks really pretty. The liners look really pretty. I love colored liners, so I think it's really pretty. And I love, they're kind of like almost like a pastel. So I think it's really beautiful. I'm glad to see that they're stepping out of their box a little bit. Because normally, they do things a little bit more on the... Um, a natural side. So I'm really glad to see that they're stepping out of their little neutral box and they're doing something a little bit different and trying to be a little bit more, you know, a little bit more fun, a little bit more lighthearted. Um, but this is definitely a pass for me, but you guys will have to let me know down below what you guys think. So up next, we have, this is Tom Ford Beauty. And, um, you know, we have to talk about a little bit of Tom now. You know, once in a while, we got to have a little Tom in here. So this is the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate Soft Radiance Primer with SPF 25. It's infused with hyaluronic acid, moringa, passion fruit oil, ginger extract, and it's a sensor sensorial formula, Bleh, that was like, that's a twister, um, that melts seamlessly into the skin for hydrated, smooth makeup base. Um, it looks really pretty. Um, I'm sure that it will be okay. I don't like Tom Ford primers. I've tried them before and, um, I just don't like his primers. I just, for some reason, they don't work for me and I just think they're just overpriced. It doesn't even give the actual price of the primer yet, but I'm assuming that this primer will be around the $85, $95 range. Um, and I've got so many good primers, guys. I really don't need this one. But um, if you're interested in this, it does look, the packaging looks beautiful. Of course, it's Tom Ford. I just don't really, I'm just not into it. I'm just not really into it. So this is definitely a pass for me. Okay, so up next, we have Miss Pat McGrath. And she is doing a collab with Mark Jacob because her and Mark Jacob have been a, friends forever. And, you know, because Pat knows all the runway shows, she's done a lot of his shows. And so they're doing a collaboration together. Um, so it's Crafted with Love, celebrating with her dear friends for decades of more, uh, fashion majorness. And um, this is the classic shade and um, her shade is already um, out already. It's, it's one that she's had. Um, this is just a limited edition. It's Forbidden Love. Um, and it's in the man, the um, God, I cannot talk today. Blah! I'm so terrible. Matte Trance Lipstick. Um, and it is coming soon. Um, actually, if I do remember, I think it came out today or it came out yesterday. This is already out. Um, you know what, guys? The packaging 
is really beautiful on this. It does look really pretty. Um, you know, I think it's a really nice little collaboration what he did. I just wish she would have done a special limited edition lipstick color instead of doing one that she already has in the brand. Um, but that seems to be Pat McGrath these days. I tell you, I mean, it just, it seems to be like all the rage with her consistently. Um, and while we're actually talking about that, if I'm not mistaken, yep, I'm right. Yeah, here is the palette. So there is, with a new eyeshadow palette that she already came out with, I think it's already out now already. If the, um, you know, don't quote, uh, please don't quote me if I'm not, but I think it's already out now. But this is the Divine Rose Two Hearts Desire Edition. Um, it's uh, presented in an elegant gold palette with creamy matte, malt metallics, and, um, it is $150. Um, so yeah, I think, um, again, it's in that love, the love box, which is, I'm sorry, I keep hitting my brushes, um, in that love box that came in with, like, the Valentine's collection that she just did. And the outside packaging with the blue rose is just beautiful. But the inside packaging, guys, I'm telling you, that is just the most boring palette. It is so boring. What is going on with Pat? I just don't understand. I mean, she does all these really beautiful trends and everything on the runway. And then she does these palettes that are just absolutely boring. And now they went up to $150. And I'm telling you, guys, I'm telling you, listen, my insurance just went up. I just I just saw my insurance bill today, my car insurance, and I'm like, what? I mean, it is like a lot. It went up like a lot. And I haven't even done anything. And I even called the company and they're like, they're like oh my God, well, it's like, it's, um, you know, it's just standard because with medical and things going on in the area and you live in a certain area that it just went up. And I'm like, that much? I mean, it's the most I've ever paid. I'm paying for car. I mean, I'm going to have to shop around probably. But anyway, I don't mean to go off on a tangent on that. But I'm just saying with things like that going on and then trying to spend money on a $150 palette that if you already own a Pat McGrath palette, you may already own one exactly like this or look very similar to this. I just really don't think that you need it. I just think it's just ridiculous. If she was going to do something, she needs to do something with, she needs to do a palette with some blues in it and some, you know, purples in it and some greens in it or maybe some some really beautiful with some oranges and I mean just a really pretty palette that would I would love to see a rainbow palette from her I really would something really cool something different something very modern I just this is just very boring to me I just don't feel like she has anything to do with the company anymore I think she just basically they choose whatever they want to now I don't think she has anything to do with it that's just me personally but anyway I digress no to the lipstick and no to this too because it's just it's just very boring and it's a snore to me. So anyway, but please let me know down below if you guys picked it up or whatever. But I just don't see it anymore. I don't I just don't know why, but I'm just very bored with it. So anyway, the pass. So we have a new launch from Givenchy and it's a new mascara and it's called the Le Interdit Mascara Contour Volume. I think it's called Le Interdit is what it sounds like. It's supposed to give you an extended eyelash volume and an extreme length, an XXL length. Um, it's 90% natural origin, um, nour nourish, smooth the eyelash surface, depathenol to help to protect the strength of the eyelashes. Um, and it comes in a luxurious glass container. So this is reminding me a little bit of the Lancome Louis because that's exactly what the Louis is. It's very similar to it. Now, the brush looks like a little similar to the YSL Lash Clash. Um, so, it's giving me some Lash Clash vibes. So, Lash Clash is being really copied because I feel like the L'Oreal, the Panorama, they did that with the Lash, like similar to the Lash Clash. But now, Givenchy is owned by uh, Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton owned Dior and Givenchy and Guerlain and all of them. So, I just feel like this is just another copycat of some of the other ones. It does look like a cool mascara. I don't know what it would be like. I mean, I'm sure that it's going to run probably around the 35 40 bucks range. Um... We will just have to wait and see. But, um, but yeah, I mean, it looks kind of interesting. I would pass on it for now. I mean, unless I just hear really good results with it and hear some other reviews on it. I might be interested in picking it up. But for right now, I'm just going to say it's a pass for me on this one. And then up next is the Lemire, the Lemire Lip Volumizers. Now, I used to use the Lemire Lip Volumizer way back in the day whenever I used Lemire. Um, I loved it. It was great. It was just a clear one. And then I think it was around $70, $75. They are now $90. Doll hairs, let me tell you. $90 for a lip plumper. Um... It comes in. It comes in for a uh, five shade: a sheer shine, pink, um, glow, berry, and coral. 
Um, so, no. No. I mean, you know, it is it is a good lip plumper. It is. It is. It feels very hydrating on the lips. It's very luxurious. It feels very quenching. It, it doesn't sting. It doesn't burn. Um, they are really, and then they do come in these big, pretty large containers. So when it comes, it's really kind of fat. It's kind of fat, and, it, and it's got a big dough fit. Um, if you have the coin, and you want to spend it, and you want to try a good lip plumper, I would def I would recommend it if you wanted to. If you wanted to, it's just expensive. It's just very very expensive. Uh, I don't know when these are coming out. It doesn't really say they're available on the UK site, but not in the US yet. Um, but I will keep an eye out for you guys and let you guys know, and I'll put it in my LTK shop. And by the way, if you're not in my LTK or not a follower, definitely follow me over there because I post a lot over there on my LTK shop and everything new that comes out is always over there. So you guys can just go over there and always look and see if there's anything new. Um, but yeah, just um, this is the path for me. I'm definitely not interested, but they are good and I have used them before and they are they are um, good, but they're just not worth 90 bucks now. I mean, 70 was already pushing it before, but now 90 bucks, that's a, that's a, that's a lot. Lisa, baby. Mm, you never do me wrong. Mm -mm, not with this lip. Mm, okay. Okay, so moving on. I <laughs> just had to admire myself again one more time in the mirror. This skin, everything is given today. This Chanel Foundation, this Ultra, it's, it's so good. Um, this is the Ultra de la Tint, the long wear, the 24 hour one. It's so pretty. It just looks so good on skin. Um, so, anyway, so this is up next is the Guerlain Blush. So, this is, they're all, um, they, um, they're uh, new matte shades. I mean, they're six in the collection. Um, I think these are out already, if I'm not mistaken. I think these are already posted already. I don't know how much they are. I want to say they're like, I think they're like 65 or something like that. If I do, I will let you guys know down below. But I think these are already, um, they're already available. But there's like a, um, it looks like there's a terracotta shade or like a more of a peachy shade. There's a, a more of a mauve shade, a light pink shade. But I mean light, it's light. There's a really, really light peach shade. And then there's like a plum shade. And then there's like another pink shade. So anyway, it's a no. No, I mean, it looks really pretty. I mean, the packaging in Guerlain is always beautiful. It's always stunning. And I'm sure the formula is beautiful. Guerlain does a beautiful job. I mean, they do it. They're a beautiful company. But um, but I would just say pass on this one. This one's just not for me. I'm just not interested. Um, but now, this next one, um, Miss Vanessa Myricks is coming out with some new products. So she has um this the the groundwork palette and so they're similar to this Natasha Denona palette that the the new one that we just mentioned earlier. I feel like Natasha is kind of she kind of picking up on some of Danessa because Danessa's been doing these palettes that do everything, like it's supposed to be eyebrow and eyeliner and shadow and whatever, all in one palette. And she's already done, I think, two, and they've been more like neutral colors. Well, now she's coming out with one that's more um, mauve pinks and berry colors. And it's going to be $65. It's going to be available soon. Um, but it's got a bunch of multi-use that you can use on, on brows, cheeks, and eyes because of being a makeup artist, you know, Danessa is very, very um, on fire. Um, I think Pat should take note from Danessa because Danessa does it right. I don't know what Pat is doing, but I feel like Danessa just kicks Pat butt sometimes with certain things because Danessa is just so groundbreaking with her stuff. So I feel like Natasha Denona is picking up a little bit on that. And so she's starting to do some of the same things. She's starting to kind of be, oh, you might need to make things that are a little bit more, because evidently Danessa's doing that. So anyway, this is, looks really pretty, guys. It looks really pretty. It's got a multitude of like peaches, mauves. Uh, I mean, the pictures that I'm seeing, it, you, I, it, I'm sure it doesn't do the palette justice. I need to see it in person, but it looks really pretty. Out of all the ones that she's done so far, this would be one that... Mm, I don't know. I've never tried her shadows. We might have to give it a little bit of things. So this is a maybe. This is a maybe. It's sixty five dollars, but I don't know. I've everything of Danessa that I've tried, I've really enjoyed and really loved. So I can't think that she would probably do anything bad. So we may have to give this one a shout, a try. So this one's gonna be a maybe, not a pass, and not a yes yet, but a maybe. Up next is another 
amazing black um, business owner, and that is Miss Beyonce herself. She is coming out with her new hair care line called Sacred. Now, I know a lot of you guys have said, you know, you're not feeling the whole, let me set up, if I could set up a little bit more. The, a lot of these, um, you're not feeling the celebrity brands. Um, so please let me know what you think about this. I mean, what do you think about Beyonce coming out with her own line? Now, we'll say this. So Beyonce's mother was a hairdresser. Um, so Beyonce has been around hair her whole life. So her mother used to create her own things and kind of had her own thing going on in her salon. So I could see Beyonce. I could see this being very successful. I could, and the packaging, it is just, it's, it's next level. It's this beautiful pack. It's like what Kim wants to do with her life. <laughs> She wants to do with this like it is really really beautiful the packaging that she's done with it so there's a nourishing hair oil a clarifying shampoo scrub, scrub for 38 uh, the hair oil was 44 the shampoo's 30 the bag there's a bag it's 22 a sealing lotion 38 a deep conditioner 38 a reconstructing hair mask 42 um a shaking vest a ritual shaking vessel i don't know what that means but that's 20 bucks uh, double cleanse kit, 42. Fermented rice and protein ritual, 52. Fortifying treatment kit for 46. And then there's a fan bundle for 265. So I figure for the all that stuff for 265, that's not bad. Not for all that. Cause, and her hair prices are no more than Keratos or any of the other ones that's in Sephora. So I don't know. I'm just, that's very interesting. Very interesting. I don't, I mean, it seems, I think it's as a hairline that anyone can use, too. I don't think it's just for just black hair or more, uh, um, you know, more African-American hair. I think that it's actually for anybody. I think anybody can use this. Um, I can't see Beyonce coming out with something very limited. I would think anybody could use this product. It doesn't say, but I'm assuming that anyone can use this. That's why she didn't say it. Um, so anyway, I'm really interested to see how this line would be. I might have to, I don't know. We might have to think about this for a minute. Think about it. Again, it's another maybe, but it's not a, it's not a full out yes or a pass, but, it, but it, the packaging, everything next level is beautiful. Congratulations to Beyonce on this. I think it's really beautiful. It's already out now. It came out on the 20th and it's available on her site down below. So up next, guys, is the, um, this is the Dior Forever Natural Bronze Glow Powder. It's Radiant Glow Powder Bronzers with the Sun Kiss Finish. There's four shades. There's Coral Bronze, Pink Brown Bronze, Peachy Bronze, and Rosy Bronze. So my good friend Charlotte Holcraft has already done a video on this. She This came out in Europe already. Um, so at the UK, they already have it. It. Um, so it's already available. It is not available on the U.S. site yet, um, but um, it should be available soon. Um, and I will, again, I will let you guys know in my LTK shop when it is available if you guys are interested in this. I am not interested in these at all. I mean, Dior has done this so many times. I mean, this is like, it's, I mean, you guys have to understand, I've been in the industry, what, since 93, and I have been doing this for a very long time. I just, and they have done this over and over and over again in another style and another packaging and whatever. But they've done this many, many times. And it reminisces me a lot of the Guerlain powder, the terracotta. And I'm just like, no, no. I mean, it's just not interesting to me. I'm just not finding it interesting whatsoever. They look beautiful. Don't get me wrong. And Charlotte, you know, some of them look very similar. You, I'll leave her video down below if I don't forget to put it in here. I will put it down below and let you guys go over and check it out. But... I just really just don't see these. They're not interesting to me at all. I just really don't. So you have to let me know. I know some of you guys just think they're just gorgeous. Um, but yeah, I just, I'm just not feeling it with the Dior. I'm just not. I mean, I've got the star filter on my face and the, the new glow, face glow that they buy, they have and is gorgeous and I love it. But I just, this, I just, it's just, it's something that just doesn't interest me. It's another, what, $65 or something like that, probably. And I'm just like, I'm not interested. So anyway, this is a path. But I'm not crazy about Dior's bronzers. I've had their bronzers. I actually had three of them. And I gave them away because I didn't like them. I just didn't care for them as much. Um, their bronzers just don't do that much for me. I mean, they're pretty in a way, but I just, I just don't know why they just didn't do anything for me. I just don't prefer my L'Oreal or my Charlotte Tilbury or some of the other ones, but it just didn't do it for me. So I know these are not going to do it for me either. So anyway, this is the past. Up next, guys, we have, this is the LYS and LYS is coming out with some new glow blush sticks and, um, and they are so pretty. 
They have watermelons, watermelon seed extract in them, rosehip oil, and green tea extract. They're easy to blend, luminous, dewy, ultra creamy, and they achieve a natural flush of pigment on the cheeks. There, uh, there's a mauve, a soft pink, a perfect peach, a berry plum, a watermelon pink, and a poppy orange. Um, which two of them will be exclusive only on their website, and then the other ones will be available on Sephora. Um, they're going to be $20 each, and they just came out today on Sephora, so they're out now. So if you guys want to go over and pick them, the LIS seems to go really quickly, too. Like, they sell really fast. So these and the Patrick Ta, if you're interested in them, I would pick them up soon if that's something that you're really interested in because these blushes seem to go really, really quickly. Everybody seems to go nuts over them. But now, it would be too to kind of wait on this as well for the Sephora sale if you really wanted another new blush. I mean, really, I'm going to be honest with you. We've been blushed to death, so I don't know if you really do need another blush. But if you do like blush and you want a new blush, <laughs> this is available now. Um, you know, I don't know. Maybe. It's, I really, because they are really pretty, and the swatches look gorgeous. The colors look so pretty, but I just don't need another crap. I just don't. I just don't. I just really don't. But I'm going to have to pass on it for now. But it, it might give me something to think about. I might have to think about it, because these colors are really beautiful and a creamy blush. But anyway, I'm going to have to wait. I'm going to have to think about it or maybe see it in store or something like that or anything. But right now, it's a pass for sure. Vanessa Myricks, again, she's coming out with two new skincare products. So one is the Yummy Skin Mattifying Water. It's a powder serum, niacinamide and hyaluronic acid for $36. It's a mattifying water to power serum that primes, absorbs shine, visibly refined skin with a comfort matte complex, absorbs oil all day with an over-drying effect translucent and detectable and for all and for, um, all skin tones. It preps the skin for best matte makeup results with combating acne prone skin and oiliness and shininess. And then she has the Yummy Skin Moisture Repair Balm Serum with Hyaluronic Acid and Squalene. It's $38. And it's a balm to serum that intensely hydrates and soothes dry skin, visibly transforming the skin barrier by targeting dryness, flakiness, and dullness. And a complex and it comes in one of her little round uh, tub things that she has, and it's supposed to be fragrance free. Um, you know, so the mattifying water does not interest me because I'm not oily at all, so that's a definite out. But now, this yummy repair balm that may be something we might have to look into. Now, she said it was fragrance free. Now, you guys know I love me some smell when I put my skincare on, and if it doesn't have a smell, I don't like it. I just don't like it. I end up like not liking it. I like my skincare to smell good. I want to smell yummy when I go to bed. I don't know why I just want to smell yummy. When I don't smell yummy or does it have a good smell, I don't want to use it. Um, which disappoints me because it sounds so good. It sounds so good. But anyway, I might have to try this. It may be something that maybe I can fill and sort, whatever. But, um, this is, again, another maybe. So, we've got a lot of maybes in this video. So, what if I only have a one yes so far? So, there's a lot of maybes in this video. So, I'm not real sure. Um, but anyway, let me know what you guys think about this. But this, this sounds pretty cool, the bomb. It sounds pretty cool. I'm kind of interested in it. The golden yellow looks really, really pretty. So, I don't know. You'll have to let me know down below what you guys think. But um, it definitely, a, it's a pass right now, but it's a maybe. Possibly. It's a maybe for sure. All right, guys. So, I'm going to try to rush it up a little bit because I'm like already at 30. I'm looking at my thing. I'm like, oh, I'm at 30 minutes already. So, anyway. So, Lisa Elders is getting ready to come out with a new product. It's not saying what it's going to be yet. Um, It's just kind of showing pictures. It looks like a mascara. But it, it may not be a mascara, but it looks like a mascara. I think it's going to be a mascara. Um, Merit Beauty is coming out with some matte lipsticks. Um, they're going to come with a lightweight, soft, matte, non-drying formula on there, too. It's hydrating. Um, there's a couple new colors that's coming out in it. It looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. About eight. Eight new shades in it. Um, does it have the price? Does it see the price? It's 26 bucks, and it does come out on Friday. So... I don't like Merit lipsticks. I wish I did, but they have this, they're, they're that earthy, I don't know, it smells like a crayon, and it's just, I just don't like the way they taste. I just, I don't know, I just don't care for them. Um, but you know what, they do look really beautiful, and they do have beautiful colors. So I would say, if you love Merit, and if you love a natural, all natural type of a lipstick, because you know, this has nothing in it, there's no mineral oil, no tar, no retinol, no, none of that stuff. 
sulfates, you name it, there's nothing in it. There's no fragrance. It's cruelty-free. Then this would be for you. This would definitely be for you. This might be something you may be interested in. But it will be available on the Sephora site on Friday. And they are $26 a piece. And um, KVD is coming out with the new Good Apple Bronze and Skull Bomb Duo. As well as they're coming out with blushes too, I think. Is that it too? Blushes too. So there's a sculpt blush as well. So um, it's a bomb duo. You can blend up two creamy ultra-stated uh, shades. One is pore blurring. Velvety finish lasts all day long. Um, wow. It's like they're both $34 each. Um, they, but they're out now. So they're at Ulti Beauty already. So if you guys are interested in a new creamy bronzer and a new creamy blush duo, that seems kind of interesting. There's like six shades in the bronzer and there's six shades or, uh, no, four shades in the blush. Um, so I don't know, guys. That's kind of interesting. It, the, the bronzers, I'm sorry, the bronzers are $36.00. The blushes are thirty-four dollars, um, so I don't know, guys. Those are that's kind of cool. I'll have to play with that when I go into store and play with it and see. That might be kind of interesting because the bronzer, especially, is kind of like you can use it for so many different things. Um, it's blendable. It's the shadow is definition. It lasts all day. It's sculpted, and chisel. Well, you can do all kinds of stuff with that. That's kind of interesting. So we might have to think about that one. Um, so, but right now it's going to be a pass. But if I'm in a store and um, I'm looking at I might have to check it out and see what I think of it. But, um, but right now, that one is a pass for sure. Um, and then uh, let's go over to, oh, there's one more, th there's two more things. Um, more blushes. I mean, oh my God, let's, su surprise, surprise, surprise. More blushes. Can you believe it? Like, like it's groundbreaking. It's spring blushes, groundbreaking. <laughs> A very Devil Wears Prada moment. Groundbreaking. Florals. Groundbreaking. Um, they're spring. <laughs> so, this is a new blush. It's uh, called Bossama Beauty Official. It's coming out with a new cream blush. And the compacts are so cool because they're like a bright pink, fluorescent pink blush. And they're really pretty. So, it looks like there's like six shades in it, I think. Six shades. It's paraben-free, retinol palmate-free, gluten-free, cruelty-free. It's a buttery, soft cream, buildable cream blush and lip tint. It's a lip tint, too, that melts into the skin for a naturally radiant finish. Um, and it comes out, it came out, um, it comes out um, tomorrow. It comes out on Thursday. It comes out tomorrow. So, wow, all this stuff, and it's $20. Um, not bad. The packaging's really cute because you kind of open it, it kind of clicks, and then you shut it. So that's really cute. I think that's a really cute and unique idea. Um, I'm going to have to play with this. Again, it's going to be something I got to... I have to see a lot of this in store. I've got to play with it. I don't go always go by the hype and people saying that I need things and stuff like that. So I have to... I'm going to have to play with this. So this one's a pass for now, but it's pretty. It's pretty. But, you know, how many blushes do we have we talked about already? We've already talked about so many already. So, anyway, I keep wanting to knock into my lipstick here. I keep wanting to mess up my perfection, my Lisa perfection. Mmm. Because it's so pretty. Mmm. Mmm. So pretty. Let's put some more on. It's so pretty. <laughs> So last but not least, guys, so this is the last one. So Huda Beauty just released um, some creamy new eyeshadows. So they're creamy shadows. So they're like the little, they're the little, what, the nine pan? They're nine. They're nine pans. And um, they're buttery soft. It's called the Cream Blush. And there's two shades in it, two palettes. One is more of a chocolate brown and one is more of a cool muted brown. Um... So, it's a buttery, soft, buildable cream blush and lip tint. I'm oh, sorry. I'm looking at the wrong thing. I'm going on the wrong thing. I need to go back. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. I'm looking at the wrong thing. <laughs> so funny. Um, so, anyway. So, the um, the formula is... They're new. They're creamy. They're buildable. They look really beautiful. They look really pretty. I think these run for $35 or $32, $35, $35 I think, for the palette. Um, these are out already on her website. I will look and see if it's on Sephora. Last time I looked, it wasn't on Sephora yet. So it may be out on Sephora already, but it wasn't on her, um, it's on her website though. 
but they do look really pretty. They do look really blendable. So if you like her creamy shadows and like her grunge palette or some of her other ones that you like and you like that creamier formula, you may really like this one because she does have them a few in some of her palettes. Um, but this is supposed to be a newer, creamier formula, so I don't know. It'll be interesting to see and play with it and see what we think of it. But again, this is something I would need to play with in store to actually be able to see what I would rather like, really like it or not. Um, so right now, this one is a pass for me. But they do really, and I usually like her more fuller palettes and not her non-pan palettes, but they're cute. I mean, they are really great. If you like a good non-pan palette, this may be a way to go for you, and you may really enjoy it. But for me right now, I'm um, I'm good. I, like, I'm, I'm good on shadows. I don't need any more. But these are really pretty. And you'll have to let me know down below what you guys think of these. Okay, guys, so that is it. So we are done. We made it through another pass or yes. Let me know down below what you guys are interested in or if there was anything in this bundle that, or this bunch this time that you were interested in at all. Um, you know, but I'm really interested in some things. It's just a lot of things I like to really test and play with and see in person. I just don't really like to go by, you know, uh, other influencers or other people. I like to make my own judgment and see it in person sometimes. And then sometimes some things just really jump out at me, but nothing super major this time around. Um, but let me know down below what you guys think, what you guys are interested in. You know, thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. Make sure that you subscribe if you have not. I would we would love to have you as part of our little family here at Gabe Love Makeup because we just love we just love 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 to have new members. We just enjoy it so much. Make sure you give us a thumbs up and also make sure you put the notifications on if you're um, you know ring the bell so you don't miss out on anything. If you did not like this video, then pass on you, okay? We're gonna, we're gonna, pass, instead of a yes on you, a pass on you. I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm being silly. It's the end of the night. It's been a long day today, guys. Let me tell you. So remember, be safe, be strong, be proud, stand tall, love yourself. Remember to tell somebody that you love them. Uh, today because life is way too short. It, I was about to forget that there for a minute. Um, also remember to be kind to somebody because kindness can go off a long way. And um, and with that said, guys, we will see you again in the next episode. Peace out. Take care and have a good rest of your day. Bye.